you did with Steenite, we're working two different grips, um, near side collar, near side ankle. Let's just look a wee bit about the off balance and then on the next move we'll look about um, locking in Delaheva X and trying to keep it, which is, is a skill that's important before we um, start to try and sweep people. So let's just say I'm playing, um, I'm on my back and Kiara's probably going to try and make grips on me. Um, to pass my guard. If he hasn't made grips and say Kiara runs this way, I can physically use my feet and, and if he runs this way, can, he can trail me. So he will need to make some kind of control on my pants to get into a passing perspective. So that's good. So I can just reach up with my left hand, open up the lapel. Again, we want to be getting this right hand as deep as we can in the collar down here. It's an easy grip to break. So first grip I make, right hand on the collar so I don't want to be flat on my back so I dip on my left hip the second grip I make is on the ankle now again I need placement for my legs my right foot the sole of it is going on a thigh that's the distance maker to push the car back and now from here I can start to work the Delaheba hook the Delaheba hook just isn't putting my, my foot L shape my foot and putting it in there I need to really be clamping in with the knee the battle is letting Carl not turn his knee out this way. If he has his knee out that way, I'm gonna to have to butt scoop over, drive the inside of my knee as if I'm trying to pinch my knees together. Then when I put the Delaheba hook in, I'm turning my knee. It's the way the sole of the car's foot's off the mat. So there's a lot of small things happening there. So last time we looked at, we don't want to be playing Delaheba flat on our back. So the second I get to there, I'm turning from my left hip to my right hip. So I'm pushing on that thigh shelving car put his hands on the mat. If he's in this position he is not passing my guard. So that's option one. We covered that on Tuesday. Let's look at another um, thing we can be playing with. So again when Cara makes his grip, we find the collar, four fingers inside of the collarbone, and then I dip on to my left hip and I find the ankle. Okay. Once I'm there the right foot's the, the distance maker I push on the thigh, chop in my knee and put in the Delaheba hook and continually, I never want Carl's knee pointing out, turning that knee. So again, from there, I can push him on, on his le on the rear leg and take this out and kick up the ear. Okay, so the second grip we're looking for now is, I keep the collar grip and my left arm comes around. I just grab my lapel from here. Also, my Delaheba hook comes out and I want my heel so I'm continually pushing on that and they can pull to get his hands on the mat. That's our second um, transition we're looking at. So again, this well, in my back, Cara makes grips. I open up the collar, I put my right hand in first, that's the first grip. The second grip I make is I don't be flat on my back, I turn on to my left hip and I grab the ankle. And I need placement on my feet. Right foot's pushing on the thigh. It's the, a distance maker to keep the car back as I chop in my left ala Eva hook, pitching with the knee, and then I just L shape my foot and put it in um, just above his knee here. You should be able to see your toe. So, what we covered on Tuesday was I don't want to be playing Dela Eva when I'm flat on my back. This car now can now stuff my leg to start in the passing positions. So, we want to be thinking <coughs> about when we're here getting his hands on the mat. So now I just lean to my right hip and chill. All his weights in his hands. I mean, we showed you the different things I can do from there. Option one, take back a step. Option two is, makes grips, find the collar, right hand comes in, first grip. The second grip's the ankle, I'm on my left hip. Placement of distance leg, pushing, chopping in with my knee, putting in the Delaheba hook. This time, I am going to sit on my butt, but I push on the leg and physically sit up. The hand that was on the ankle, the forearm comes behind the back of the knee, I'm going to grab the lapel. Okay. And also, I don't want Kara lifting his right leg out from there. So my heel is back to here. And again, back in the home perspective of put his hands on the mat. We'll show you things we can do from there. Okay, so, still that guy.